What's up guys, this is Brendan with Sonic Electronics. I'm Alan. And today we got another Q&A for you guys regarding why my battery keeps dying. All right guys, so today's question's off of YouTube and the question is, just did an install and my battery keeps dying. Sup with dat. How do I get my fix on? Is that what it really says? Yes, yeah, sup, S-U-P, W-I-F-F, dat, D-A-T. So what's up with that? And uh, how do I get my fix on? So what do you think, Alan? What can he do to get his fix on? <laughs> well, we have to do some fixing first, Brendan. Uh, well, obviously uh, something is uh, draining the battery, so uh, I would definitely recommend doing like a parasitic draw test. You're gonna have to kind of narrow down what component it might be. Did you say it was an amplifier? No, Did and that's the, and that's the thing. I mean, in most cases, I mean, if you if your battery keeps dying, obviously something I, could be staying on. You could have a defective component. Maybe a bad radio the or a bad deck. still alive. It's still on. It should be off. But we don't know what you put in. So what's up with that? So what you would need to do is basically a parasitic draw test, like Alan said, uh, by basically dis disconnecting the positive lead off the battery and interrupting that lead with your digital multimeter to test the actual amount of milliamps that's actually being drawn through that mil multimeter when the vehicle is in the off position. Now, really what you're gonna wanna do is basically being, have someone inside the vehicle maybe pulling some fuses at the same time to see if that parasitic draw drops on the multimeter in your readout and then you can narrow down that issue. Basically in your parasitic draw test, what you're gonna be looking for is basically a minimum of anywhere between 25 to 30 milliamps of draw. Uh, that's typically considered normal depending on the vehicle and the application. So if you're getting Acceptable. more than 30 milliamps of draw, then you obviously know you have a parasitic draw. You have something drawing current while the vehicle's off. And what you can do is basically start at the components that you would think. More than likely it's gonna be your aftermarket components, but in the past I've seen factory radios go bad and actually cause a draw to make your battery go dead. Could be a faulty ignition switch. Yeah. Could be a lot of different things. So uh, when you definitely take your meter and disconnect <clears throat> the uh, lead off the battery, usually it's safe to wait a good 10, five to 10 minutes. Let everything on the car shut down, make sure the dome lights are off, make sure all that's settled, and then take that reading. Look at that first, and then you'll be able to tell right then and there, obviously it's way too high or it's acceptable. Um, if it's acceptable, then obviously you don't have a problem, but in this case, your battery's obviously dying, so it's gonna be higher than what Brennan stated earlier. So then you're gonna wanna start pulling fuses, disconnecting things, start with the aftermarket first, till you find a circuit that you've disconnected that lowers the draw off the battery. You could also say that the alternator may be possibly going bad as well. So if your battery keeps dying, even if you drive the vehicle or jump start the vehicle and you get home, wait 10 minutes, try to fire it up again and it's super weak, definitely go to have your alternator tested at a local automotive shop or automotive parts store, because I've had that happen to me and my Lexus. Thought it was parasitic draw, did a parasitic draw test, nothing came up. I uh, did an alternator t t test on the alt output of my alternator and it ended up being a bad alternator at the end of the day. So. Definitely do those particular steps. I would definitely, I think it's the alternator to be honest with you. We just don't have enough information on that. So if you can, leave another comment down below if you're the one that asked this question and maybe we could help you out a little bit further. So like Brendan said, there's lots of things you can check from your charging system to a potential draw. So you gotta start somewhere. If you decide to start with checking your alternator first, it simply could be that. Or obviously if you've just added some aftermarket equipment to the vehicle, and now you have this problem. It probably isn't the alternator unless it's just coincidence. Um, and then you'd probably wanna start with the process of elimination and disconnecting the aftermarket equipment and checking to see what your draw is at rest. Exactly, so hopefully that helped you out guys. If you have any further questions, feel free to post them below and we'll see you guys later. Peace.